are. Here we are back in the studio. I got the piece behind me here that we started out with the drawing and I showed you how I transfer it over onto the canvas and now I'm going to take you into the beginning stages of the painting. This will be just kind of the block in and what I usually do just to get the piece started. Phase one, let's check it out. Right, so let's start out with the simple palette. This is something I don't always work with the same colors, but this is a good place to get started. Next, we got brushes here. I've got Rosemary 301s. They're rounds, they're awesome. I also love working with the ivory brushes. They're great for blocking in paintings. I also paint with some kind of you know crappier synthetic uh, round brushes. I don't mind if they get a little worn out. They're great for scrubbing in places and just kind of, they're a good basic workhorse. And lastly, I do love painting with a palette knife. I do most of my pre-mixing, so let's jump into that. Starting with that sky background blue, it's just one of the easier colors to mix. We move into the mountains from there. We're going to think about having a warm and cool with a lot of these basic tones and creating what would be considered like a color map or some kind of uh, you know basic grouping of what will be my go-to colors. Moving into the trees now, some of those darker foreground tones. All right, here we're into the foreground, the really bright, warm, earthy tones that are you know, that sunlit foreground really making it pop. It's great to be able to see all these colors just flattened out against each other instead of as the subject. So here it is mapped out. You can kind of see how I'm mentally grouping these colors. And as I'm painting, they'll get to get blended together and kind of become more messy. But this is a great foundation. You can see the underlying value structure is still there and still has integrity. With that, let's get to painting.
all right hey so this wraps up the block-in day i'm pretty stoked with how it came out so far i'll just know kind of the next 10 or 20 percent is what i go for in the finishing stage really refining those shapes getting that detail to to sing and get those flowers to just pop so that's what's going to happen in the future stay tuned for that video until then happy painting y'all see ya